In this video, I'm going to walk you through the hands-on challenge for the unit Automate Case Management. This comes up in the Module Service Cloud for Lightning Experience. Before I do, I just want to explain um, two things that uh, came up in my mind that I thought might be helpful for you. Number one, and that is that automating case management is really important for a company. And that's because the service center is sometimes included in the things within the business that are called the cost centers. So if you are the owner of a business, and for a moment, don't think of yourself as a future aspiring admin, uh, Salesforce admin, picture yourself as the owner of a business, and you're looking at the whole range of things that you have going on inside of your business. You have your marketing team that's generating interest in the product. You have your research and development, your product team that's creating the product. You have your sales team that's selling the product. You then have the service team that's supporting the product. So the support center is one of these costs centers. It's not generating revenue directly for you. And even research and development, right? If you could do research and development more effectively for less money, then that's also really good. The service is one of those areas that you want to provide great service to your customers because you want them to come back and you want them to get referrals. However, it's not generating revenue for you. So the faster that you can provide good service for less money, <laughs> the better off you are overall as a business. And so understanding that hopefully gives you a little bit of a perspective like, right, this is why case management, escalation rules, making sure things are getting routed to the right team because then you can imagine that you'd have some teams that are not as well trained and also maybe not as well paid that are able to answer certain types of questions, but certain teams that are better trained and maybe better paid are gonna be directed to different types of questions. So you, if you can manage that effectively, you'll be able to provide great service to everybody at a much more affordable cost to the business. That's number one, that's why this is so important. Number two, this is sort of a side point. If you're new to business and technology, you may not be aware that there's this thing called a distribution list or a group email where you can actually put in an email address that then forwards on that information to anybody who is a recipient of that email address. So like the example they have here is support at team at Ursa Major Solar. That then is then gonna go on to all of the people who um, are included in that group. And um, you can see, like I just pulled this up, you know, if you have a if your company is using Google Workspace or Microsoft, anybody, they all have this feature where you can create a group. Um, and this is just one email that you can send to all group members with a single email address. So this makes managing, making sure who gets the right information really easy because then you're not having to go into the case rules and update who the recipients are as jobs change and as new people join the team or people leave and all that stuff. Instead, you just manage that in your email client and your rules in Salesforce are able to stay the same. And with that, let's get to the hands-on challenge. Create a case with assignment and escalation rules. You launched an exciting new product named Panel 1 and you trained a set of your agents to support it. Create a queue for panel one and add assignment rule to route cases that contain panel one in the description to that queue. Then create an escalation rule to reassign any high priority panel one cases to you when they are not closed after 30 minutes. Okay, so this is, you know, really wanting to make sure that we get that information solved fast and escalated and at least answered within 30 minutes. So first we're gonna do is create a queue. So the label is gonna be panel the queue name is going to be panel and the case, the object is going to be case. So we're going to go over to set up, search for queues, select queues and click new. The label name is panel one. The queue name is panel one. The object is on the case object and the user is going to be me. And we'll click save. Create an assignment rule. So the rule name is going to be assign panel one, and the field is going to be the case description. So we're going to go over to setup, to assign, create case assignment rules under service, click new. 
give this a new name, the rule name, click on assign panel one, under rule entries, I'm gonna click new. And now the field is gonna be on the case description. There it is. The operator is contains and the value is going to be panel one. And this is going to be assigned to queues. So we'll look this up here, panel one. And now we're going to save and activate our rule assignment. And I left the order as just, I put one in here. I need to activate it. So I'm going to click edit next to rule detail. Make sure this is active and click save. That should do it for this. Now we're going to create an escalation rule, even though they're not going to check it. Let's do it anyhow. Panel one is the rule name. So we're going to go to our escalation rules, search escalation, escalation rules, click new, give it the rule name, panel one, click onto the rule name panel one and give it a new rule entry. So in the case status for the field here is not equal to closed. Okay, and then we're gonna click save. And then under escalation actions, click, click new, age over, 30 minutes, uh, resign to me. All right, in real life, you might want some notifications and templates and all that stuff. We'll just click save. Okay, and that should do it.